good morning i am navi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about mac protocols for sensor networks in detail we are going to discuss about self organizing mac for sensor that is smax networks this topic is present in the subject adiga and wireless sensor networks medium access control mac Nodes in wireless sensor network share a common broadcast radio channel. Since the radio spectrum is limited, the bandwidth available for communication in such networks is also limited. Access to this shared medium should be controlled in such a manner that all nodes receive a fair share of the available bandwidth. and the bandwidth is utilized efficiently let us start discussing about the channel bandwidth analogy here is a representation of a fair sharing in this diagram the pieces has been shared to all persons uniquely here in this diagram the pieces are shared and fair the people likewise in the wireless sensor network the main constraint is channel bandwidth utilization the channel bandwidth has to be utilized efficiently and a fair sharing has to be done for all the sensor nodes mac protocols in sensor networks must create a network infrastructure to establish communication links among thousands of randomly scattered nodes it must also ensure fair and efficient sharing of communication resources among the nodes so that the overall lifetime of the network can be maximized there is no single controlling authority in sensor networks due to this global synchronization becomes difficult in sensor network sensor nodes communicate by forming a multi hop network to forward messages to their destination which may collect data for later retrieval by the end user or transfer the data over a dedicated communications link Sensor nodes avoid direct communication with a distant destination due to the high transmission power requirements for reliably sending messages across the deployment area which may cover a large geographical area end users typically desire to deploy sensor nodes randomly throughout the target area in large numbers hundreds to thousands of sensor nodes however some special cases may require the precise deployment of a smaller network limited energy computational and communication resources complicate protocol design within sensor networks and prevent the application of many techniques used within other networks constraints on sensor node cost further restrict which technologies sensor networks may utilize let us discuss about the energy constraint analogy here we are going to see four states the first state is in active state if the sensor node is in active state means consumes more energy thereby the lifetime of the sensor node may decrease now we discuss about the second state the second state is an idle state if the sensor node is in idle state means some amount less amount of energy is consumed when compared to active state the third state is the sleep state whenever there is no data for transmission the sensor node may switch over to the sleep state means the energy consumption is reduced due to that the lifetime will be increased now we are going to discuss about the fourth state this wake up state if 
the data has to be transferred from one node to another node means the node which is previously in sleep state now starts in the wake up state and starts sending the information the, thereby the energy consumption by the sensor may be utilized efficiently beyond improving the radio design an efficient medium access control protocol possesses the greatest capability to decrease the energy consumption of the transceiver since it directly controls transceiver operation the medium access control protocols are responsible for ensuring fair allocation of communication media some of the popular mac protocols used in wireless sensor network are listed below first one self organizing mac for sensor networks second one fs trap and register mac protocol third one hybrid tdma or fdm fourth one low duty cycle protocols and the wake up concept fifth one csma based mac protocols that is contention based protocol next one is schedule based mac protocols seventh is ieee 802.215.4 zigbee let's discuss about the self organizing mac for sensor networks that is smax despite using multi hop communication to reduce energy requirements for communication the wireless transceiver often consumes the largest amount of energy per time period use within a sensor node and this provides the greatest potential for energy savings self organizing medium access control for sensor networks is a distributed protocol this protocol forms a flat topology smax invokes sensor nodes to find out its neighbors the major functionalities of these protocols are given below first function is network initialization the second function is link layer organization the third function is neighbor discovery and the last function is channel assignment communication path can be established between two nodes by having pair of time slots for transmission and reception at a fixed frequency each communication link can work on different frequency a channel is assigned to each link the time slot can be randomly selected by the nodes during the time of link establishment there will be no interference between nodes due to the availability of large bandwidth power can be saved by turning off the transceiver in idle slots after establishing a link between nodes the transceiver of the node can be turned on when transmission takes place otherwise it will be powered off neighbor discovery function each node can wake up at a random time after wake up the node keeps on listening to the channel to transmit the invitation message If the node finds that none of the other nodes are transmitting invitation message then it will start to send the invitation message on the channel at fixed frequency the neighbor nodes which hear the invitation message will respond to the sender of the invitation message the node who originated the invitation message may receive multiple responses from different nodes at a time it accepts the response from one node from which it has received the response first and hence establishing a relationship with the neighbor nodes and forms a link
thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you